Our sixth story out front, did boredom lead to murder? There are new details tonight about what may have motivated three teens to allegedly shoot and kill 23-year-old Australian baseball player Christopher Lane. Three days before Lane was gunned down from behind while he was jogging, 15-year-old murder suspect James Edwards Jr. tweeted, with my ends, the N-word, when it's time to start taking lives. Out front tonight, Rachel Padilla. She is James Edwards' sister. And Rachel, thank you for taking the time. I, I know this is really hard for you to talk about, and we appreciate it. Um, let, me, let me just ask you, you know, first of all, your reaction, uh, your younger brother, now accused, charged with murder in a horrific crime. What possibly could have gone through your head when you heard this? I just was in shock. It's hard to believe, and it's just really taken a toll on me. I, 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 I can only imagine. Uh, I can only imagine. But let me ask you, Rachel. You know, your brother, um, that, that tweet, uh, with my ends, when it's time to start taking lives. When you hear that, obviously it does raise serious questions about his role in this crime. When you hear that tweet, you knew him. What do you think? I don't really know what to think because I knew he had a Facebook page, but I never looked at it and it's hard to believe that he will be that he would even put things on there like that I mean Rachel there was um, there was something else he did you know and I mean it's it's hard to ask you about this because I, I know you're, you're in a, a terrible situation but in April your brother tweeted um, uh, again on the social media website 90% of white people are nasty hashtag hate them of course Christopher Lane was white some people are saying race could have played a role in this killing um, does that make sense to you have you ever heard your brother say awful things about white people no I haven't uh, I know that he has a lot of Caucasian friends with whom he hangs with and the only way that I would feel that he would say anything racist about anybody is because that we have felt racism from some of the people here in the community of mm. Stevens County. And, and so you, you have, I mean, that, that is an experience that you and your brother had, people being racist to you. Yes, ma'am. Um, let me, let me ask you also, Rachel, you know, obviously James and his 16-year-old have been charged with murder, and they've been charged as adults. I mean, you know, that means the, the ultimate penalty, of course. Um, you know, I had talked to the police chief in Duncan the other day, and he told me that they believe that the 16-year-old pulled the trigger. So why do you think James was also charged with murder? Uh, I don't really know, but... I know that he's been in trouble with the law for for fighting, but I don't quite understand why that he would be charged with first degree murder when he wasn't the one that shot and killed the guy. But as you said, he had been in trouble before with the law. Yes, ma'am, for fighting and stuff like that, but He's never been a vicious person, and it's, it's hard because that I know he's been in trouble for fights, but I don't really feel in my heart that he would go to such extents to take an innocent life. And, and Rachel, you know, I mean, one of the things that people have, have talked about, and no one can understand or comprehend the, the horror of what appears to have happened in Duncan, but um, that, that maybe that there was some sort of a, a group think, that there was a gang activity going on. You know, there, there's video, photos and video of your brother on the Internet. Uh, we have this, uh, this photo of him video. We, we played it last night. I'll show it again to our viewers. I don't know if you've seen it, Rachel, but it's um, him holding it a gun, a gun, pointing at the camera, sort of you know celebrating looking really happy there you know he's got a necklace on and sort of coursing around are you aware of him being in any kind of a gang uh, no ma'am the only knowing of it that I have is what people have been telling me 
and I I don't really want to believe that he was in a gang, but I know that he hung around older people that were affiliated with gangs. So he did have friends there, but you're not sure if it went further than that? Uh, no, ma'am, I'm not sure. All right, well, Rachel, thank you very much for taking the time. We appreciate it. I know it's not easy for you. Thank you. This whole country tries to find answers in that senseless and horrible killing in Oklahoma.